Hey, it's Tom Gallagher, the video Pneur. Check it out. We're going to do another comparison video. This is an Ibex 19 MSB. And then right over here, we'll go over there next and we'll do the 20 MDS. So let's check out the 19 MSB first. Here we go. So I really like the Ibex. They really have uh, upped their game on this model. What I really find interesting or what I really enjoy is the suspension. And it's the uh, similar suspension what you see on a Ember. Let's see if we can get in there. And it really gives a nice firm ride but also an enjoyable ride. And we'll get inside here, get out of the uh, noise. There's the badging, 19 MSB. So right away when you step up inside, the first thing you're greeted with is the bathroom. And your, your uh, controls, bottle opener, hooks here for jacket, hat, whatever, keys. Let's go ahead and open this up. And so, unique feature, we have a safe, which really would come in handy, gives you that peace of mind when you're out and about. And I would imagine that is a feature that is very popular among the ownership. Very nice size bathroom. You have a nice shower enclosure commode two burner cooktop microwave oven you have an exhaust fan as well as your light above cabinet storage let me swing over and uh, close the door so we can take a look at the refrigerator and freezer so nice size refrigerator and freezer and something I like to point out, I like this little dip down. If you've ever had your power go out, and especially when you're camping and you're running off battery power and you get home and you want to uh, take a little bit of time before you empty out the freezer and fridge, that comes in handy. So if you get any melting, nice size sink. I really like that gunmetal sink. And then you also have your spray nozzle. It's like a restaurant style. And I want to try to make sure I put that back so it holds on. It has been winterized, even though we're going into summer. Nice size couch. It folds out. Then you have your table here for your dining. And then you have the Murphy bed, and this is in the down position. You have cabinets on both left and right, and they're lit, well lit. Plus you have the outside light, the outside of the cabinet light. And you have a flat screen TV that pulls out and uh, articulates. And then I really like this countertop. You can see it's strapped down and the chairs are strapped for travel. And we'll go over to the, uh, the other unit and uh, you'll see the difference here in a moment. But very impressive. I really like, as I mentioned, I like the Ibex. I hope you do too. So let's go ahead and uh, wrap this one up and we'll go across the parking lot by the magic of editing and check out the next one. So here we go. So now by the magic of editing, we're over at the Ibex 20 MDS and we'll get inside here in a minute. Just want to show you a little bit of the uh, same goodness that I showed you on the other Ibex. So here you'll see that the door is in the center of the RV. Still, you see a tandem axle and I did not describe on the other, but look at the meat on those tires. Those Goodyear Wranglers are perfect for off-roading. Here you have your uh, table hookup. You have your LP Quick Connect. Your spare tire, and it is covered. And both of these units have a single slide. So there you see the 20 MDS badging. So let's step up inside. Now here the Murphy bed is in a down configure or a up configuration rather. 
let's go ahead and get some light going on here. So as I was mentioning, the bed is in the up configuration. And you saw I just flipped that light on. There's those puck lights like we saw on the 19. But boy, that light, lighted cabinet really makes it nice. You have space above that you could uh, put some items for decoration or for throw your hat up there or whatever the case may be. So here we have the dining area with the stools similar to what we just looked at. And the big difference that you see right off the bat is the 19 had a dining area and a couch. This has the dining area, flat screen TV, cabinet space, refrigerator, freezer. We'll get to that in a moment. I want to show you a little bit of the kitchen. So you see the similar gunmetal gray kitchen sink. You had a spray nozzle, three burner cooktop, microwave oven, cabinet space above. Let's go ahead and just show you that. The other had flip up. These have the uh, hinged, your refrigerator and your freezer. And we also have the freezer that has a little bit of a uh, indentation in case you have a power outage. You don't want that ice cream all over the place. Here we have the bathroom. One of the big differences you see, at least I see right off the bat, how deep this cabinet here. You also have a safe like we saw in the other, but that was this is in the bathroom. That other safe was right by the door, and that was kind of in the uh, family area, the living area. Very nice shower and sink. Here we have the dining area, and that's your, your single slide that I mentioned. So that is your comparison. I hope these comparison videos help. To me, they are very helpful if I was in the market for, in this case, an Ibex. Which, which model do I want? Uh, and it could change your, you could end up changing your mind. You want to go the route of one, and then after watching this video, maybe uh, you change your mind and decide to go in a different direction. So comments, questions, leave them below. I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks again. <laughs>